Movie Geeks and welcome back to the Geek Man Cave and welcome back to another Marvel Movie Prop video. Now guys, in the UK, Avengers Infinity War is out on digital download and guys, I am over the moon. I've got it on my phone, I've got it on my tablet, I've got it on my PC, I've watched it about four times already. I haven't watched a movie like this since the first Avengers came out. Guys, to celebrate the UK release of digital copies of Avengers Infinity War, I'm going to show you how to create your very own Tony Stark Nano Arc Reactor. There's so many parts of this movie I absolutely love, but being a big Iron Man fan, seeing the Bleeding Edge armor combined with Black Panther's nano technology blew me away. I absolutely loved that suit. I loved how he kept an Arc Reactor kind of style for his placement, absolutely love that. So I'm gonna show you how to create your very own wearable arc reactor, nano infinity wall bleeding edge arc reactor. So the first thing you're gonna need, geeks, is a tea light. Now you can pick these up in most home shops. I picked up a pack of three for a pound. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut the shape of the arc reactor into some two millimeter foam board. Now foam board is a brilliant resource to use for making craft stuff. I'll leave the measurements for it in the description below. Basically, cut out the shape you want, and then what we're going to do is draw some rectangle shapes that are the same length as each of the sides of that shape, and then stick them together to create a 3D shape. Just use a bit of hot glue and stick them together. I had to go around with the scissors and some sandpaper just to smooth the edges out, but when they're all stuck together, that is your housing for your tea light already. Next, what you're going to need to do is get some sort of clear cover. I'm using a bluish coloured see-through plastic divider. Just cut that out and get ready to stick it on the top. Now, because I wasn't happy with the colour of the divider, my son Harry decided to help me out, mix a bit of blue, green and white paint just to go over the top, a bit like we did with the Tesseract, just to give it that better colouring and to give it that teal kind of colour as we see in the movie. So to make the detail of the arc reactor, I'm using some photo paper. Now what you want to do is draw around your arc reactor base. And then what I used, I used a picture. I'll leave a link to the picture in the description below. And then I stilled my iPad screen and I just traced over to get that shape. So then you should have an outline shape and the inner shape as well. So you're left with that outer shape with a hollow bit in the middle and then your stencil shape. So you can stick over the top. Next, I want to add some detail in because there's two sort of prongs that go through the arc right there. I'm just measuring out two pieces on some cocktail sticks, cutting them down and hot gluing them straight on. So the finishing of the detail in, I'm just going to be cutting out some more photo paper because on the arc reactor you can see this part that folds over the top and the front part of the arc reactor and it has what looks like these weird hexagon shapes so what i'm going to do guys is cut the shape out of some photo paper and then i'm going to hot glue some bolts and nuts onto it to give it that kind of 3d effect With them done, all you need to do is to start hot gluing the pieces together.
When you're happy with all your pieces, guys, get some metallic silver paint and spray evenly over all of your pieces of your arc reactor. So in order to change the batteries for my tea leg if they ever go, I've cut a triangular shape out so I can easily get the battery out. Also, to be able to hold the arc reactor in place and to make it wearable without having to ruin any of my t-shirts, I'm hot gluing a magnet to the back of the tea leg. This means that I can put a secondary magnet behind my t-shirt so the pieces will just hold together through the magnet. All that's left to do then, guys, is to hot glue all your pieces together. I'm also going to go over with a little bit of black pen to give some detail in. You won't see this in this video because while I did it, my battery went and I didn't know. So with that done, guys, we're ready for the final reveal. your very own wearable Infinity War Bleeding Edge Tony Stark Arc Reactor. Super happy with this turned out guys. The magnet is holding brilliantly. I've just put a magnet behind my t-shirt. Don't have to cut my t-shirt or anything. It feels really weird wearing a Captain America t-shirt with an arc reactor. Super happy with this turned out. You can just push to turn the lights off and because of the hole at the back you can change the batteries whenever you want. I hope you've enjoyed this video geeks. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for weekly content on the Geek Man Cave. And remember guys, it's your cave, it's your rules, and I'll see you next time.